This is the Next Peak 9 stage 15 amp battery charger. Let's take it out of the box. In the box, you get the manual for it and the charger itself. Let me tell you a little bit about it and then we'll go ahead and test it out. This can charge 12 volt batteries at up to 15 amps and 24 volt batteries up to 8 amps. It has a 9 stage charging system in it. It goes basically detection, desulfation, soft start charging, bulk charging, absorption charging, battery test, recondition charging, float and maintenance charging, and then monitoring. This also has temperature compensation. What that means is it can sense the temperature and know how to charge the battery in winter or in summer and there's also kind of a regular mode basically if it's between 65 and 80 degrees something like that it's going to be on regular mode you don't have to adjust this or do anything it will do it all automatically in the cold we all know that car batteries suffer like that so this can adjust its charging function as such to uh, help better charge in the winter and it also has a summer mode if it's over a particular temperature and it will uh, change for that as well this can charge regular flooded AGM or absorbed glass mat gel batteries SLA or sealed lead acid batteries and LIFE PO4 lithium iron phosphate batteries this has a color screen on it as well and it's also a touch screen for the mode button that's on it. Uh, operation is very simple. First thing you need to know is this is the way that you want it. In other words, the charging cable is coming out to the left and in doing that the screen is going to appear right side up. So that's what you want right there. There is an internal fan on this unit that again is fully automatic. It's going to come on and off as necessary depending on the state of charge of the battery. This cannot charge a completely dead battery. If you go to your car, you open the door and the dome light doesn't even go on, probably not going to be able to charge it. It needs at least one volt on the battery in order to charge it. So you will have to find another way in that sort of circumstance. Remember also this is a battery charger, not a jump starter. So if your car is dead, it's not going to let you hook it up and just turn the key. It doesn't work that way. It's a battery charger to charge your battery up. Now this is great for a number of different things. First of all, I love the fact that it will work with the LIFE PL4 batteries, which are kind of newer on the market right now. And uh, you need a special charger for that. This will do it. This also has a trickle charge mode that you can set and that way if you have a maybe a classic car that's not really driven much you can leave it hooked up to that on the trickle charge mode and um, that way it'll maintain the battery so when you are ready to go out for a cruise chances are very good it'll spin the engine over just fine so with that I think uh, pretty much what we're gonna do is hook this up to a battery here I'll show you the screen how all of that works and then we'll go on from there. Here's a really old car jump start pack. I forget when I bought this thing. It's been eight, nine, ten years. The battery in it, there's no way this is going to jump start a car anymore. It's way too dead. It needs a new battery, but I have other ones in that. The way it works is very simple. You do your battery connections first, and then you plug it in. Let's do the battery connection. I'll show you the screen on it, and then we'll plug it in. So for this, I can hook up right to these cables because that's connected directly to the battery. And there we go. Let's take a look at the screen. So what you get here is your voltage. That's the temperature in Celsius. Your voltage again. And the temperature in Fahrenheit. Okay? So you don't have to worry about switching between it. It's going to do it for you so you don't have to worry about it. Right now, again, we are not plugged in so it's not going to charge it's just monitoring the battery here and as you can see this being a 12 volt jump pack 8.3 8.4 that's not going to do any good so we can go ahead and plug this in 
So let's go and do that here. Uh, incidentally, if you want to change modes, you got this mode button right over here, and you see the icon down there changes between the various ones like that. And everything is all explained in the booklet. Let me go ahead and plug it in here, and let's see. DFS is desulfation. The fan turns on. And you can see that it's doing stuff and that. It's going to sit here for a few minutes and uh, do its thing. So we'll just leave it to do that for a bit and come back later. Desulfation, by the way, is very important for batteries, especially ones that sit for a long period of time unused, like this one, because the battery has a tendency to grow what they call dendrites. And that basically produces a little bit of a short in there and doesn't allow the battery to, to achieve the full voltage that it could. So this is kind of sending power into the battery right now and letting it kind of reform itself before it will go and charge. And while it's still in desulfate mode, what it does here is it actually pulses the battery. You can tell by the built-in meter on here. See how it turns on and off like that? It's pulsing the battery, giving it power, releasing power, giving it power, releasing power. And that's there to help break down those dendrites. When charging is complete, it will show full like that. This also has a repair mode right here that you select with the mode button there. And it says pull for pulsing. And again, that is doing the same thing like before with the desulfation and that. Um, you can charge a battery as much as you like, but the problem is eventually all batteries go dead and they're not going to hold a charge anymore. This is one of those particular cases. This battery is so far gone that it was reading about 8 and change volts before, and there's no saving it, really. The repair mode, it can try. It's going to run for several hours in that. But uh, again, I know this battery is no good, so there's absolutely no way that this battery is going to take a charge. Switching gears, this is an LIFE PO4 battery, as it shows there. Now, this battery is a lot newer. It has been sitting around for, oh, eight months easily. Uh, is it up to full charge? I don't know, but we can hook it up. So we'll get the uh, positive on there, and we'll get the negative on there. There we go. 13.2, it's supposed to be 12.8, so it really is kind of there, and you can select, right now it says motorcycle, that's not what we want, this is LIFE P04, which is that one right there with the blue, so there's that, and now we can plug it in, and it will start to work its magic, now again, I don't really see this doing much, because it already knows that it's full, but it is actually giving it just a little bit of juice there to let it charge for a bit. And you can see the voltage in that, the amperage as well, because it's charging. And it is giving it the full 15 amps that it can deliver. So this will just top it up to, oh, maybe 13.6, 13.8 by the time all is said and done. Um... You always charge it a little bit higher voltage than you need the battery to be, of course. Uh, and this will go on from there. This, of course, will work the same. You can imagine this might be a battery in a golf cart or a battery on a riding lawnmower or in a generator that has electric start or anything like that. It'll work for all of that as well. It'll work for motorcycle batteries and, of course, car batteries alike. So once again... This was the next peak, 9-stage, 15-amp battery charger. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.